Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. 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 Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. All right. Uh, today I have an exciting announcement. The channel has officially hit 600,000 subscribers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and I just want to say this milestone couldn't have happened without you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you so much. Uh... I haven't done much for reaching milestones over the years, but yes, years. I've been doing this for five years. I, I just really want to thank you guys. Uh, not this isn't in the bit. I actually. I'm very grateful and it's crazy that I get to do this. Anyway, I've never really done anything for Milestones, but this year, for doing YouTube for so long, I've gotten a lot of people asking me everything that I use to make my videos. So today is that day. I finally share how I am a YouTuber. In today's video, it will be divided into two main sections, my hardware, like my setup tour kind of thing, and then the software that I use. This is not gonna be like a tutorial, this is just like, hey, this is what I use. I'm assuming maybe if you're watching this, you've been following me for a while and are just curious, or maybe you're doing your own research. Before we really begin, I'd like to have a disclaimer where you do not need any of these things to become a YouTuber. YouTuber or an artist. When I started five years ago, I just used this laptop and Windows Movie Maker. So take my advice with a grain of salt. I may have been doing YouTube for this long, but I don't think of myself as a professional. But I do have experience, so without further ado, let's start with whatever's on my desk. Don't look at those wires, goddammit! Oh my god. I'm trying to show you something. Don't pay attention to that. I will have everything linked in the description if you're curious about it. My PC is actually a pre-built one and I'm not a gamer so I don't know what all these specs mean. I'm glad I upgraded from like a regular desktop computers cause this baby runs all of the programs I need and The Sims 4. And to be honest, that's all I ever really need. These are my monitors and they're the, the San Samsung UR59 series 52 and four. They're curved monitors. Both Birdie and I had one and then he got some some boring monitor because it was better for gaming. So I got his and now it's just used to display Spotify. The headset that I use is my husband's old headset that he gave me because he, he wanted a better pair at the arcade. Uh, these speakers are from Amazon. I got this microphone. Uh, also from Amazon and also because Brody had it and it glows just like my mouse and my keyboard. Um, <laughs> I am very simple, but I had a blue Yeti for way longer than I should have and Perla told me to upgrade so I finally upgraded <laughs> like I should have like forever ago. It was like twice the price of the blue Yeti but it, honestly for a microphone this is like this is so much better. Don't buy a Yeti unless you intend on replacing it later on because my audio quality has been ass for years <laughs> and I apologize. <laughs> And a lot of people, when I first showed this new keyboard, were like, Oh my god, where did you get it? Also from Amazon. I wanted it to all kind of match. It's got the LGBT lights, and I like the sounds that it makes. I like the circle keys because it reminds me of the typewriter. Really cute. My mouse is a gamer mouse because I prefer wireless mouses because I have a tablet on my desk and it takes up a lot of space. I don't want I don't want more wires. So I always do wireless. I've gone through like so many wireless mouses before and they always die on me. But this one's great. Um, I can also plug it in if I do want it wired, but most of the time I leave it charging on its little port thing. But I saved the best for last, and that is my drawing tablet. I got this Galmon PD 1610 2.5K drawing display, and I've used it for about like four months now, and I love it. In the past I've worked with Galmon before, since like the beginning of my channel, literally in 2017. I have my old videos about their tablets that I've used, but 
but I believe this one is the best and let me show you why. I am not a gamer, but I am an artist, so these specs I do understand. Has a 16 inch large work area. This new tablet has 2.5K UHD resolution. The screen is laminated. It also has anti-glare glass. They have eight touch keys that you can program in their software. They have this new pen. I love a wireless pen. Uh, they always come with new nibs. It has a lot of levels of pen pressure, tilt support, and this adjustable stand. I love that this one has like a little stand. It's not as adjustable, but it has like three different layers. And what I really like about it is that I can just take it off the stand and have it like in my lap or just like flat on my desk. That's a feature that I got so used to that I don't think I could ever have a tablet that doesn't have this. Also, this particular tablet is compatible with Android, Windows, and a Mac system. So you could literally, instead of hooking it up to a computer, if it's compatible, your phone will be able to hook up to it, which is so cool. I don't have an Android. I'm on Apple game. I know, i sorry. Gammon right now has a coupon for $100 off if you wanna save some money on this upgrade. The link to the tablet and the coupon will be in the description and also the pinned comment Comment down below if you want to check it out. Now that the hardware part is over, on to the software that I use. So my favorite art program is and have always been Clip Studio Paint. There are so many assets you can use. I turned Perla onto this and she started showing me things that I didn't realize I had already had access to. What really made me want Clip Studio uh, when I was beginning out is because it's not a monthly subscription like other programs would. I bought the basic program for like 50 bucks when I first started and then upgraded my versions as time went on. So right now I have the X version uh, before I had the Pro and before that I had uh, just their basic one. However, the one downside is that if you use an iPad, it is subscription based, which I think is ass because what the f did I buy the iPad for? Anyway, Clip Studio Paint for the win. I write my scripts on Google Docs, uh, steal ideas from other YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> I record in Audacity. I level my audio with Levelator or just in Audacity or my editing program. And I screen record with Streamlabs. As much as I wish I could show you my exact process on how to use these programs, I simply cannot be bothered. <laughs> I had to learn by watching tutorials on here and this isn't a tutorial. So I use Movie Studio 15 to edit my videos. A lot of anime animators use Adobe, but my husband bought this version of Movie Studio and I've been using his account ever since. <laughs> In fact, I should probably upgrade because the 15 version is pretty old now and I hate learning new programs, so I always stall to upgrade them. Also, there is no subscription fee on this either. Just bought it outright and it's a much bigger upgrade to Movie Maker. <laughs> <laughs> so after the process of make a script, I record my audio, I edit that audio, I put it into to my software, I start drawing and putting it into my, my editing software, and then I add like goofy ass sound effects and terrible green screen and this pig creature. But then after all of that, I render, I add all my end cards in the description that you will never read, let's be honest. I draw a thumbnail and I upload it to YouTube and you guys get to sit back and enjoy all my hard work. And I'm so glad that you still enjoy it. I hit 500k last year and now I'm at 600k and I don't think numbers that big really exist because <laughs> like the realization hasn't hit me yet, but I want you to know that I am so grateful that I'm able to like be a YouTuber, like for a job. I am beyond lucky to have been put in this position and I just want to thank you all so much. And please don't forget to subscribe. We're more than halfway to a million, baby, let's go. Hi, end card Kelsey animated here. I've been busy during the holidays. I'm sure you guys all have as well, but I just want to thank you again. And again, I will never stop being grateful for having this kind of platform and being able to, to make a living off of it as well. I've never had a normal job before and I am very privileged to do what I do. And I am just very, very thankful, very grateful. And I did get married this year and I 
do still plan on making a video about that. So I will see you next year. And I don't really know how to end this, so I'm just gonna blow up. <laughs>